The Boston Bruins made one of the biggest mistakes in NHL history. But for me to explain, let's go back to the 2015 NHL entry draft. This draft class is widely considered one of the strongest draft classes in NHL history, with players like Connor McDavid, Jack Eichel, Miko Rantanen, Mitch Marner. You want me to keep going? I'll keep going. And it seemed like the Boston Bruins hit the jackpot with three picks in a row in the first round. And who did they select? Jacob Zabarwal, Jake DeBrusque, Zachary Seneshin. Maybe not the best picks. Now, Jake DeBrusque isn't too bad of a pick as he currently has 176 points in 320 games. However, Zaboral and Zenishin have only combined for a total of 70 games played in the NHL. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the f You're trash, kid. Get good. So not the best picks in the world, but the question is who was picked after those three? Matthew Barzell, Kyle Connor, and Thomas Shabbat. Oh, hell no! Now, it's clear that the Boston Bruins made a mistake by passing up on these three franchise players, but what if they didn't? Well, in today's NHL 22 video, we're going to hop into franchise mode and see what the Boston Bruins would look like if they drafted Matthew Barzell, Kyle Connor, and Thomas Shabbat. But before we hop into NHL 22, the question of the day is what is your favorite player that your favorite team has ever drafted? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's go see what the new and improved Boston Bruins look like. So here we are again in NHL 22, and like always, we're going to choose an innocent bystander to do the simulation with. This time, we're choosing the San Jose Sharks. And my god, the Boston Bruins look absolutely nasty. The first line stays the same with Brad Marchand, Patrice Bergeron, and David Pasternak. The second line, however, Kyle Connor, Matthew Barzell, and Taylor Hall. Jesus Christ. And then on defense, Thomas Shabbat and Charlie McAvoy is the first pair. It's time to stop! Now I figured it's only fair since the Boston Bruins didn't draft Jake DeBrusque in this world, we send him to the team that drafted after Boston, so Jake DeBrusque is on the New York Islanders. So now that we've seen the Boston Bruins lineup, like always we're going to simulate month to month and we'll check in on the Bruins and see how they're doing in the standings and their leading scores. Well, this is kind of weird. It seems like my NHL 22's frozen. Oh, that's right. It's because you haven't subscribed yet. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before the NHL season starts. And it's because of your guys' support that I'm able to make videos like these. So hit that subscribe button so we can start the simulation already. Did you hit it yet? Okay, cool. Let's continue. After the month of October, the Bruins are sitting in fifth place in the Atlantic, even though they've played a significant amount of less games. They currently have a record of 2-3-2. Two, two. Patrice Bergeron currently leads the Boston Bruins in points with 6-7 and seven games. And I think I found the root of the Bruins' problems as Linus Olmark currently has a 1-3-2 record with an 897 save percentage. Let's see if the Boston Bruins can pick things up in the month of November. After the month of November, the Boston Bruins have definitely picked things up with a record of 10-6-3. They're still sitting in fifth in the Atlantic, but they're only two points back of the Toronto Maple Leafs with four games in hand. Patrice Bergeron continues to lead the Boston Bruins in points with 20 points in 19 games. And Linus Olmark has picked it up in the month of November with a record of 6-5-3, two shutouts, and a 9-13 save percentage. Let's see if the Bruins can keep it rolling in the month of December and leapfrog some teams to move up in the Atlantic Division. And what did I say? After the month of December, the Bruins are now second in the Atlantic Division with 41 points. Nice. They currently have a record of 19-10-3. Brad Marchand has now taken over as leader in points on the Boston Bruins with 42 points in 32 games. And Linus Allmark continues to be solid in between the pipes, but Jeremy Swayman sitting there with a 7-1-0 record and a 9-24 save percentage. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Let's move on to the month of January and see if the Boston Bruins can maintain a top spot in the Atlantic Division. And boy, was the month of January ever good for the Boston Bruins. They're now currently first place in the Atlantic Division with 69 points. Nice. They have a record of 32-11-5. Brad Marchand continues to dominate as he leads the Bruins in points with 67 and 48 games. But both Kyle Connor and Matthew Barzell are creeping in on point per game. And both goalies are doing fantastic in between the pipes as Linus Allmark currently has a record of 22-10-4. And, and Jeremy Swayman has a record of 10-1-1. One one. Now if you're a regular on this channel, you already know what time it is. It is now the month of Famu- Famuary? It is now the month of February, which means the NHL is currently having its Olympic break. And with only four games in the schedule for the month of February, we're just going to head to the end of the month of March. 
Man, the Boston Bruins had a good month of March, as they currently sit 8 points ahead of the Florida Panthers for first in the Atlantic Division with 95 points. They also have a record of 44-16-7. Leading that Boston Bruins team is none other than Brad Marchand who has 92 points in 67 games. Matthew Barzell on that second line is only 1 point shy of a point per game. And I don't even need to talk about the goalies, they're both doing solid. The Boston Bruins are now at the end of March with a 4 point lead on first place in the NHL. So let's simulate to the end of the season and see if they can win the President's Trophy. See what they think they stand a chance against Tim Thomas and his band of terribly talented beautiful bumblebee colored men. Original six, baby. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the end of the regular season is here. And the Boston Bruins did it as they finished first place in the NHL, capturing the President's Trophy with 115 points. Hey, that's pretty good. They finished the regular season with a record of 54-21-7. Leading that Boston Bruins team, Brad Marchand with 106 points in 82 games. But enough about Brad Marchand. Let's talk about the three acquisitions that Boston made and see how they did. Matthew Barzell finished the season with 76 points in 82 games. Kyle Conn Connor finished the season with 66 points in 82 games, and Thomas Sabat finished with 46 points in 82 games but was a plus 31. Now obviously you guys didn't come this far in the video to see if the Boston Bruins would win the President's Trophy. Boring. So let's get into the playoffs and see if they can win the Stanley Cup. In the first round, the Boston Bruins are taking on the New Jersey Devils. And the Bruins took down the New Jersey Devils in six games, which means they're playing the Toronto Maple Leafs in the second round. Toronto in the second round? Yeah, right. A few moments later. I should have kept my fat mouth shut. The Boston Bruins lost to the Leafs in five games. What? I mean, at least Barzell finished a point per game in the playoffs? That is going to do it for the video. And if you enjoyed the simulation, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you want to see more hockey content, especially NHL 23 when it comes out, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well. My name is Zoo. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Toronto in the second round? Yeah, right.